What's going on, scary adult toy collectors? Don't worry, if you're watching this video from your mom's basement, I will not judge you. Tonight, I'm shooting a quick video of the new McFarlane toys, Flashpoint Batman. And the Flash next to him is the one from the two-pack that comes with Red Death. I think he looks pretty cool with old Thomas Wayne here. So let's start off with old Bats here. It's a really, really cool figure. Comes with two Desert Eagles and he's got holsters for his guns and only minor quibble with them like everyone else is the kind of crazy looking giant ball joints on his ankles that uh leave like a pretty big gap that's not a big deal you can hardly see it if you're not like really looking at it if you're standing like a few feet away you can't even notice it hardly this is a really great figure I really really like him I like his cool little tips on his uh, cape here and the red looks really good on the gun belts and the pouches and on the insignia and the paint works really solid a lot of people are kind of put off by the weird little goatee thing on his chin let me see if I can get to focus in enough to see it Let's see. I don't know if you, it's gonna come out on camera I might show it but anyways it doesn't bother me I think it looks pretty cool I think this is a really, really nice figure. I got it on sale for like $17.99 off of the website, so good price point for how fantastic of a figure this is. And I really don't have like any gripes with him. You know, the paintwork was all really nice. The, you know, the joints were frozen. It's a really, really quality figure for the, the I think he's normally $19.99, so that's like, a really good deal for this nice of a figure. These figures are like, I don't know, like I've said before in some of my other videos, I, I kind of am surprised that they're selling this nice of a figure for this cheap, but like I said, they can keep doing it because I don't want to pay like more money for them, so. Anyways, this is a really, really nice figure. And my damn camera to focus on it's a really really cool figure I give it like I don't know out of five stars I give it four and you know a half I guess mainly because the weird ball joint things on his ankles like is a little off-putting I kind of think Todd ought to try to tone down the, the weird uh, ball joints a little I don't think like you know foot articulation is that important I guess if you want to put them in some extreme poses you can so uh, it's really you know it's not a big deal though this is a really really good figure and I'm really happy with them I wish they'd make the flashpoint like Aquaman and uh, Wonder Woman and here we have the Scarlet Speedster himself. He comes with this like more angry looking head than the, the single carded one. He's basically the same figure besides that. You can get him in some pretty dynamic poses. Like I have him here like he's running and stuff. It's really really nice. This one he still had a few minor issues with the you know little rubber piece around his crotch that was a little bent up. I wish they'd stop putting the the flash in like crazy poses in the in the package that would mess that up, but it's not as bad as the the other one that I have. You can barely see it on this one, but I really, really like this flash figure. I'm really excited about the John Stewart coming out. I like all the crazy Batmans, but 
I kind of wish they'd make some, you know, different guys that aren't, you know, Batman and Superman. Hopefully they'll make like a Hawkman and Martian Manhunter and whatever soon. But I really, really like the McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. If you aren't collecting them, you should buy a few of them and check them out. They're really, really fun figures, and I predict if you get a couple of them you'll want even more so run out to wherever toys are sold boys and girls and pick some up now